What's going on YouTube? DMAXZ back here bringing you another video. Um, so today I did get a product in that I'm excited about. I'm going to put it on the truck. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, this product specifically will increase um, the response of the pedal for my truck. Um, but I know for you guys who own the LMLs, I don't know if you guys have this problem, but this truck has a lot of pedal lag and it drives me crazy. Uh, a lot of the electronic throttle body stuff like that. Um, so this, this part here is going to help me. I take away a lot of that lag and spool the turbo a lot faster. Uh, but first, I gotta, I'm got i supporting the Enthusiast Apparel. Uh, go give him a follow, Dirty Max Jack. does really good videos. I really enjoy watching his videos. He does really good content. Um, go give him a follow. Give him a uh, subscribe to him. Um, but today, I'll introduce this product now. We're going to be installing BD Diesel's Throttle Sensitivity Booster Switch. So right now they did a package deal. So when I first bought this product that you would spend about 360 bucks because the, the switch itself was 60 bucks and then the actual module was 300. I did pick this up from xdp.com. I used their 10% uh, sign on. As soon as you sign up, you get 10% off. So I thought it was pretty cool. I spent $288 total with free shipping. So you can't beat that. That's, I mean, you take that, it's almost $100, but $80 right there just from the savings from the first time I bought this. So we're going to do a little uh, uh, installation video and show you guys how it works and give you my review on it and, and if you guys should purchase purchase one for your vehicle. They do make them for gas and diesel, so any vehicle you have, it, it will work for. You just got to right, find the right module for the right year of your vehicle and the make. So before we do that, I need to go ahead and mow my yard and we're got to get the truck out of the yard because right now all the background noise you guys hear are doing a lot of construction on my road, so we have to kind of park in our yards right now been going on since June so I'm ready to get back in the driveway. So let's go ahead and get started with the mow. Okay, YouTube, we're back. We just finished up mowing the yard and uh, we're gonna get this installed. So I'm gonna go through what kind of tools you'll need and uh, how to install it. So let's get started. Here's gonna come in this packaging. I do like how they lit, how they had it packaged. Open it and there's your switch and there's your module. So we're gonna go ahead and take this apart. But before that, you're gonna wanna remove your panel that sits above your knees or your legs there front and above the pedal. Um, if you got a DSP5 switch like I do for my tunes, you don't have to pull this panel all the way off, but you can if you want to. I'm gonna put my switch right here next to my DSP5. But you will need a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, and you'll need a Phillips screwdriver to get that panel off. You got two Phillips screws and you got one 10 millimeter bolt. So let's go ahead and dive into the packaging and I'll show you where to install this thing at. And once you get all that taken apart and you kind of have that ear dash hanging, here's your control module. We're going to have to take this control module cover off with those tabs there um, to get the module learned to the truck. But first, we can come under here and you can see your pedal switch there. So we're going to get a pick and we're going to pop this cable out right here. And then that's where your connector for the module will connect into here. So let's go ahead and get a pick and we'll get that removed. So once you go ahead and unplug that module there, so your pedals module, you can then go ahead and drill your hole. You don't have to drill the hole inside your dash. It does come with a mounting bracket that will bolt, basically bolt to this bolt right here. Sorry for my poor camera and shit there. But I like it next to my DSP5 switch. So what I, all I did is I drilled a hole. I need to clean it up obviously, but popped it right in there and that will work. So let's go ahead and get this module all ready to go to program to the truck. 
wires here. You got one that's gonna go to your switch, and you got the others, so the switch, the new wire for the control module will plug into your old spot, and then the old wire, the factory wire, will plug in to the new spot here. So once that's done, you do have this piece here, which is nice, my old one, I actually had to run the wires for the switch, which kind of sucked. But this comes preset, which is nice, so we're gonna go ahead and make it learn. And all I did with that is I took a flathead screwdriver, pried inside here, and pried up. So it's pretty easy. So we're gonna go ahead and you see that learn pedal button? When you got your high, low, stock. We won't need to be worried about that because we're gonna have a switch. So what we're gonna do is turn the key over, do not start it, and we're actually gonna push our pedal to the floor back and forth for about 15 seconds to make it learn. So let's go ahead and do that now. Turn the key on. We got power, is that focus? Okay, so status, we're gonna make it learn. So we're gonna do, we're gonna hit this learn button. You see level, push in, out, push in, out, push in, out, in, out, about 15 seconds. Your vehicle should relearn itself in status. Once your status light is blinking, which that one is, you guys are good to go. So you just want to hold that status light, hold the pedal, go in and out, just like this, for about 15, 20 seconds until that module status is blinking. So once that's done, you go ahead and fire your vehicle up and see if it works. Fire back up, make sure everything works. When you're due learning the process, it will say here, reduced engine power, don't worry about that. Once you've got the pedal to relearn itself, go ahead, shut the key back off, turn your key back over, let it sit, and then all you're gonna do is start it right up, and it should, that code should be gone. If not, you can use a scan tool device to, to delete it, or if you go, if you have a CTS2 monitor like I have, you can delete it there too, but you should be good to go. Switch is working. One, two, three, good. Let's go ahead and take it for a drive and see how she does. Okay guys, so everything's working as, as it should. Uh, I do have it in 100% throttle and uh, it works. So it's exactly what I wanted to do. It spools a lot faster and I didn't even have to hit the pedal that hard to make it even go in 100%. Obviously I won't run it, that's why I want the switch. Um, but at times, you know, I, I wanna make sure I have enough throttle, throttle uh, sensitivity to kind of go off the line if you know what I mean so somebody tries to contest the old dirty but no I, I like it it's good. it does what I want it to do and can't be the price I got it for so easy it's an easy install yeah I think you guys like it too I highly recommend this product um, so we'll do some rolling shots here for you So I just realized when I was up editing this video, I did not uh, post an outro. I did not record an outro or I didn't finish the video. Um, so since the inst since after that install, I cleaned up the wires. I tucked it up under the dash with some uh, zip ties there. So it's all cleaned up, runs good. Um, I've had it in for about three weeks now and I love it. Um, I'll post here on in the text here. I'll show you what the levels do. So level one, which is light one, they're one click. It's going to be 50% throttle response, level 2 is 75, and level 3 is 100. But there's also a couple more features of this module here. Uh, if you hold the switch, uh, it'll flash five times, and that's going to be your valet mode. So valet mode is going to be, um, so won't, the truck won't go past 2,000 RPM. So if you have somebody you don't want romping on your truck, you got a family member, you got a brother, you got somebody who just you don't want romping on your truck, it won't go past that 2,000 RPMs. Um, and then there's also another feature, if you keep holding it down, four flashes, which is going to be ludicrous mode, which is 400% throttle response. Um, I did try that, but I just didn't want to romp on with the stock training. The training is tuned by PVI, so I've seen that video I've had. Um, the training does run well, but I just don't want to push it that hard. Uh, I do use this switch on occasions, like I said in the video, on special occasions only. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted. Uh, I've been busy with school and work. Um, I'm not many of you know, but I'm a full-time student. I'm in my senior year, and I also work full-time uh, as well with that. 
Um, but I have had a lot of content on my phone I need to post. Uh, I did a banana oil pan install. I need to record that. Or I need to edit that. And, um, and I also did the EGR by HS HSP kit there. Um, so I did their wide bridge, their cold cider cooler pipe, and uh, their up pipes there. The damn BRP down pipe. Um, and I also just did a fuel filter head delete. Um, so if you have a fast 165 or fast any any lift pump in general, Raptor, you got an air dog, uh, you don't need that factory fuel filter assembly under there. They're prone to leaking, so what I did is I just took it off and I did, had a aluminum metal piece here, metal bend, uh, made by Race Ready Fab. And uh, I just used some old fuel hose I had from the fast install and I ran it straight to the, from the tank feed to the injection feed. It was pretty easy install as well. So we got that done as well there, and I do have some big plans for this truck. Um, actually, the next thing I'm ordering is I'm ordering a kit from Dan's Diesel Performance. Uh, what, it, what it does there is going to upgrade the turbo wheel from a 60.5, I believe the LML is, to a 63.5. And, um, and I'm also going to upgrade the housing there, the front cover, so we'll fit that, that bigger wheel. Um, so producing more air there. Uh, that kit's not too expensive. I'll leave a link in my description here. The uh, reason why I'm going with that is I don't want us to drop $2,000 on a turbo, even though I really want to, but I'm also, um, like I said, I'm a college student. I don't have that type of money to be dropping all the time. So uh, I am also saving up for the CP3 swap. Uh, I really want to do that just because of CP4 failures. I do have a lift pump. Uh, I do, well, as you can see in the bottle back there, I do use uh, a lubrication there to keep make sure that CP4 is healthy. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do some videos there. I'm hoping to order that, that turbo kit here soon, so I'll record that. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video of the BD Diesel Throttle Booster Response Switch there. Um, I believe it was uh, an easy install. It took me about 15 minutes, roughly, and then about 10 minutes cleaning things up there, make sure it's buttoned up nice. But uh, I'll leave my link to right here to my Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram name there. Uh, you go see what I've done to the truck. I do post a lot on there. Uh, you can see all the HSP kits, stuff like that. Um, and I'll leave a link to BD Diesel's uh, Instagram page that reposted it for me and their throttle sensitivity booster page also uh, reposted my photo. So go give them a follow and uh, subscribe to my channel here, comment what else you want to see with the truck, uh, what else you want me to record. Um, so thank you for watching and I hope you like the video. <laughs>